Wait. You. Look, I know, I know. You told me so. I, 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 I'm, I'm dumb, I'm stupid. I came to my senses too late. Ethan is a canvas through and through. I know, okay? Are you happy now? It's not what I came to say. I don't really care what you came to say. I care about this a lot. No, I sincerely doubt that. I can't absorb anything right now. I'm on overload. Okay. I'll come back tomorrow. Don't bother. You send a letter or hire a skywriter. I told you to stay away, and I meant it. Good morning. Told you I'd be back. What do you want, Zach? I want you to marry me. Are you on medication, Zach? Because you must have missed a dose. You pretended to marry my brother. You almost married my son, which makes me the only cambius you haven't been engaged to. And I gotta tell you, I feel a little left out. Okay, this, this, this is a reality show on steroids. <sighs> Hell of a grand prize, huh? What do you really want? I wouldn't waste your time or mine if I weren't serious. All right, well, then you're certifiable. Why? Because you didn't see it coming? No, maybe because I don't like you. I, I sure as hell don't love you. You know what? I'll go one better. I think I hate you. Okay. But if you marry me, you'll do it for love. You want a cup of this? Of my own coffee? Sure, go right ahead. What else are you gonna offer me? Last I heard, you had to shut down all your casinos. I'm about to take over Cambius. All of it. Once my father's wall's overturned. What, and your little wife gets an allowance? Her own credit card for a weekend jaunts to Manhattan? And I think you know what that means. It means that everything will be taken away from Ethan. And sadly, it also means that everything will be taken away from your sister and Miranda. It's uh, collateral damage, I call it. Sleazy pig is what I call it. Mm. Hold on a second. What I said to you is, if we get married, it'll be for love. Okay, you know what? I'm this close to calling Not love for me. Love for your sister. Why do I am so lost here? <clears throat> what I'm offering you is... For Bianca and Miranda to hold on what is rightfully theirs, because if you marry me, half of everything I own is yours. And you can restore to them whatever you want while I restructure my son. You are a sleazy, devious rogue. I admit there's a possibility that I'm not a very nice person. But this being a business proposition, I do need an answer. Will you do me the honor of becoming Mrs. Zack Slater? you in some way other than the fact that you're stripping my sister and her daughter of what's rightfully theirs no no of course not give it all back to them i need you to remember something i need you to remember what it felt like when ryan snatched cambius away from you and gave it to greenley it must have hurt i'm over that yeah mm -hmm. not completely well how the hell would you know i can see it in your eyes what we have here is a chance for you to be back on top. Everybody loves a winner, Kendall. Everybody. I'm not interested, Zach. Marriage for business sucks. You say that. But Ryan and Greenlee's fairy tale romance started as a business proposition. Okay, first of all, you're not Ryan, and don't compare me to Greenlee. I'm just pointing out that it's possible, that's all. Come clean already, Zach. This isn't about Miranda's share of Cambius. This is about you sticking it to your son. Ah, you got me. Probably is the ultimate way to stick it to Ethan. I didn't think I'd have spelled that out for you. But isn't that the biggest attraction? Can you think of a better way of getting even with a man for hurting you that badly? Okay, I can think of other ways to get back at your son without messing up my entire life. That's too bad. <clears throat> I need you more than you need me. Okay, all right, back up, sailor. We're talking about marriage for mutual, mutual profit, not your own satisfaction. I don't do sex for money. I do it because I like it. 
I never paid for sex in my life. I'm not going to start now. I think you're a very, very attractive woman. But I don't think you'd make a good call, girl. Okay, I'll take that as a compliment, I think. No, you should. <clears throat> <clears throat> I respect you a great deal, and that's why I need your help. All right, okay, so so we've now gone from chivalry to revenge to an SOS. Okay, you're definitely covering every, every aspect here. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what can I do to help you? My casinos. Mm -hmm. My son had them shut down. I need someone to help me reopen them. Someone to take over my gambling licenses. Okay, and that person that you trust to do all of this is me? Would always trust my wife. Okay, see, the more you go on here, the more I'm convinced I should call the men with the nets. I have to be hands off, but uh, you could cover my losses in a month. No, Zach, running fusion and running casinos, it's not exactly the same thing. Not that different, either. It all boils down to the same thing, and that's sales. It's something you were born with. Besides, something about your face that gamblers will like. Oh, my God. You, you are totally serious. You really want me to be your wife. So what will Maria say about her Zacky Poo taking on a wife? Don't do that. I have to. Any potential Mrs. Zack Slater has to watch her back for any knives that might be hurled by the good doctor. Let's get this straight. Whether or not you accept my offer, do not discuss Maria. Not now, not ever. Understood? All right, okay. Jeez. You know, I'm still not convinced that you're not just messing with my head. You'd have it in writing. Look it over. Have your lawyers look it over. Nothing to hide. But every day my casino is closed, the day I lose a lot of money. And half of that money is potentially yours. Mrs. Slater. Was that a little twinkle in your eye there? Yeah. Huh. Can you imagine what your mother would say? Yeah. That, I have to say, that alone would be worth the price of a yes. But you, you don't really think that I'm going to say yes, do you? Look, Zach. Don't I'm... answer now. You think about it. Don't take too long. So many men, so little time. First, the son proposes to me, and I throw the ring back in his face. And then Daddy comes a-calling, just eager to walk me down the aisle. Lucky I know the way to the psych ward. You getting hitched to either can be set has crazy written all over it. No, no, no. Zach stated his intentions very clear and very calm. He was very upfront about what he wanted from our marriage. OK, Kendall, uh, I understand that you're upset and that you feel betrayed. Uh, take that out of me, but, but, but don't. Please, don't demean yourself by pretending that you and Zach would ever... Wait a minute, you think, you think I'm making this up? <laughs> She's not. I asked Kendall to marry me. And if she accepts, make me one hell of a lucky fellow. Roses are my favorite. Yeah? Since when? Since just now. Everything Zach says or does makes me see my life in a whole new way, just bursting with possibility. Watch me burst up my breakfast now. Zach, you wouldn't pressure me into taking such a huge step. More like a suicide jump. See, I have to make sure I'm not making a mistake. This isn't my first proposal. You take all the time you need. 10, 20, 30 years. Zach, is that what I think it is? Why don't you open it? I think I will. Let's check this out. <gasps> a prenup. You shouldn't have. Yeah, exactly. Toss it and I'll drive you home. It's the details of a proposed business arrangement. Business arrangement? Wait, we're talking merger, not marriage? Kendall and I agree that love only screws things up. Yes, that's right. You can swear on it, but still be a two-faced liar. Can I see that, please? Sure, go ahead. No, let him see. It's okay. There you go. Um, Zach, you just proposed to me this morning, so how did you get it in writing so fast? I got my lawyers on at the moment. I decided that you and I made sense together. 
I fell down a rabbit hole. That would explain this. Do you mind? Thanks. So let's get back to the business at hand. Um, as discussed, you'll acquire business licenses and gaming licenses with both my casinos. Puts me back in business. Hmm. And I will sign over half of all of Cambia's holdings to you once I win them in court. You can consider that a done deal. Okay, so if we do wed, then I keep Bianca locked in and protect Miranda's share of the estate. You and I, full partners, husband and wife. Okay, you know what? I can't deal with this right now. I still have a husband down the hall who's shell-shocked because he had to shoot his own brother. So we, can we just drop this whole marriage farce? Was it a farce when you married Ryan? Wasn't that a business arrangement, also? Yes, yeah. but this, this is so much more. See, it turns out Zach and I, we have tons in common. We both love sushi, sunsets, and we both want to rip everything away from you. You know we can do it, Ethan. We can strip you bare and leave you with nothing. <laughs> How tempting is that? You can't seriously be considering this kind of... Oh, yes, I can. We're dead serious. Who'd have thunk it? Two marriage proposals in one week. One from a guy who claims he loves me but lies to my face. The other from a man who doesn't love me but keeps it honest. Well, that makes the bachelor behind door number two so much more appealing. Kendall, <sighs> don't do this. Don't say yes to Zach. Well, who's gonna stop me, Ethan? You? Your lie cast out your vote. You have no say in my life. You are nothing to me but a bad memory. Who do you think you are? You don't get to use my friend to screw over your son. She gets to use me, too. No. Uh -uh. Find another patsy for your payback. Why are you being so negative? You need to look at the prenup. I have something against marriages made in hell. Well, now you're losing. What are we talking about? Because you married with a business plan, of course you didn't know there was going to be homicidal in-laws, insanity, and curses. Horrible thing to hand down to your children, isn't it? You dirty son of a bitch. All right. Okay, that's enough. Okay, back off. Back you off. Clueless. You're coming with me. <sighs> <laughs> Ethan, will you be my best man? So you won't join the wedding party, huh? Won't stand up for the old man. I should have known. You target Kendall. Kendall is the ammunition. You're the target. You have a certain gift for cruelty. You know what? I... You almost had me. You almost had everyone convinced, everyone, the cops, Kendall, everyone in this town, that I was guilty of murder. If Jonathan hadn't confessed, you'd be the lucky groom. Not me. If you hurt her, I swear... You swear I... what? I didn't hurt Kendall. You did. I'll get her back on her feet, dust her off, and help her take aim. You know, it's ironic, really. That day, the dump, I had you in my sights, but I just... I couldn't pull the trigger. Fire. I could have left you to be incinerated. But it wasn't in me. But if you touch a hair on Kendall's head, I will find you, and I will strangle you with my bare hands. You keep threatening me. But you don't have the guts to kill me. That's why you wanted the state to give me the needle. You can watch me die from a safe room. The stakes are much higher now. Mm. I know they are. And now we'll succeed where you failed. I'm gonna make Kendall happy. <laughs> How? By forcing her to marry you? By not lying to her. There's no force. Dr. Offered her a good deal. Security, power, and an obscene amount of cash. Really? But you don't have an obscene amount of cash. Cambia's still mine. Yeah, and Kendall's still single. But that's all temporary. But all kidding aside, I gotta tell you, I really think we have a shot. But, you know, when we take the plunge, that is entirely up to her. Not entirely. What do you... You don't listen well, do you? Kendall, I thought, made it very clear that you have no say in this. You had a chance to be with her, and you blew it, just as I predicted. I see. So I'm doomed because you say so. Is that right, Father? 
No, son. You lost Kendall. The one thing that you love more than anything else in the world, not because of anything I said or did, but because of who you are. So why don't you go home, have a good look at yourself, and come to terms with who you've become. I offered you a truce, but you wanted to battle it out. And now Kendall has become the spoils of our little war. One winner, one loser. I'm willing to put the truce back on the table. Just like that. You're gonna forget this whole marriage proposal. Forget your birthright. Surrender can be to me, my terms. I'm not surrendering a damn thing. Not Cambius, and certainly not Kendall. Oh, my sweet boy. You already have. Oh, forgot to give you some. There you go. Go ahead, take it. You're good. You're very, very good. Well, you know how to flatter a girl. But Ethan's ring was better. Yeah? At least you didn't throw it at me. If you say yes, I'll buy you any ring you want. I thought you weren't going to push me. I'm not pushing you. Don't put it on your finger. Put it in your pocket. And then, you know, take it out and think about what we can accomplish together. That is low. Blind her with a rock like that, she won't be able to think straight. You think this is all it takes? Flash a rock the size of Rhode Island, she's yours? As long as I'm around, Kendall will not fall for this stunt. Kendall will make whatever choice is best for her. Don't look at her like that. She's a sucker for that, too. You've screwed up everyone else's life. No way you're screwing up Kendall's. All right, you know what? It's not even on my finger, so drop it. You want to go another round in the supply closet? You want a swirly in the wash basin? Oh, I'd love to watch this, but I gotta go. Think about us. She won't. She's not that stupid. Wait, will you stop? Stop, okay? 